Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson, and uh, this is the last video for Chapter 1. And tonight, it says, uh, the essential question is, how can you use a formula for one measurement to write the formula for a different measurement? The things that we will learn is how to rewrite literal equations, how to rewrite and use formulas for area, and rewrite and use other common formulas. Tonight, we're going to start off with a little vocabulary. First of all, a literal equation is an equation that contains two or more variables. So far, we've been solving equations that have just the same variable throughout. Now we'll have equations that have two different or more variables. And a formula is just a type of literal, literal equation that shows how one variable is related to one or more other variables. Those are some of the common formulas that we'll use later. So our first example of a literal equation is we're going to solve this equation, 3y plus 4x equals 9. And we're going to rewrite it so it's y equals. We want the equation to be y equals. So anything that does not contain a y is con considered now just a constant term. So we have to get rid of the 4x. So if I change sides, change signs, and I move that over there, I have 3y equals, and now the 4x becomes a negative 4x plus 9. Now again, we can't combine the 4x and the 9 because those are not like terms. Now we need to isolate the variable y. So we do that by dividing every term by 3. Now, you'll see that sometimes they just divide each side by 3, but usually if one of the terms can be divided by the constant that we're dividing by, in this case the 3. Then we'll rewrite it and we'll divide every term by that. So now our answer would be y equals negative 4 thirds times x, and then 9 divided by 3 is plus 3. And now that's our final answer for rewriting that literal equation in terms of y. Here's another example. This time we want to solve for x. And in this case, we have two different terms that both have the variable x. Unfortunately, these two terms are not like terms because the second term contains the variable z. So we can't combine the 3x and the 5xz. But we can't also have two values of x. Since x occurs in both terms, we can undistribute the x. So we're going to put the x on the outside of the parentheses. And if we take it away, if we undistribute it from each of those terms, we'd have 3 plus 5z. And again, if you look at this, if we were to distribute the x back through, we would get exactly what we had to begin with. So we call this undistributing. And now we have y equals x times 3 plus 5z. And since we now want to solve for x, the factor that's being multiplied by x is what we're going to divide both sides by. So we'll divide both sides by that sum of 3 plus 5z. So then our final answer just is x equals y on top all over 3 plus 5z. And there's our final.